Hello, this is the first video in the Setting Up the Grade Center in Blackboard video series. This video will give an overview of the Grade Center and considerations you'll need to make before using it in your course. To begin, let's talk about getting into the Grade Center. To do that, you'll need to enter into your Blackboard site and select Grade Center, then Full Grade Center from the control panel. Alternatively, you can click on this small arrow button to enter directly into the Full Grade Center. Once there, you can see that each enrolled student gets a row and each item gets a column. There are several various types of columns, which we'll get into later. For now, just know that some columns are automatically created by the system while others can be manually created. For example, if you create a Blackboard assignment, test or survey, or set up grading within a discussion board or blog, a column will be automatically created. For other things like attendance, extra credit points, or a paper test, you'll need to manually create the column. But before we can get to creating columns, you'll first need to know a bit about how Blackboard's Grade Center works. First and foremost, Blackboard works on a points-based system. This means that every grade entered in the system comes down to points, even if you grade on a letter or percentage scale. This is important when it comes to setting up your columns, which require a point value. If you're only using a column as a placeholder or as a method to collect student submissions, you can enter a zero point value. Otherwise, you'll need points for each column. In addition to being points-based, the Grade Center offers a multitude of tools. This can seem overwhelming at first, and indeed, you may never use some of them. Just remember that anything can be changed or deleted, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. When all else fails, we can help you figure things out. There are two main methods to setting things up when using the Grade Center. Total points courses and weighted total courses. You'll need to examine your syllabus and course structure to decide which one works best for you. Total points courses are set up where each item has a point value, and the final grade is determined by adding all of those points and dividing them by the total points available. This is the simplest form of calculating a grade in Blackboard. Weighted total courses, on the other hand, are a bit more complex. In a weighted total course, certain items may make up a category, which then contributes to a percentage of the final grade. You should find that your current grading structure fits into one of these categories, or even a combination of the two, so you'll know which path to follow in the video series. If not, or if you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact the service desk at 368help or at help.case.edu. Otherwise, click on a method below to get started with setting up your Grade Center.